Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog! This morning Luke and I went for a walk together, it was very nice, it's Monday um, and we both have today off so we went for a walk together and now it's around about lunchtime. I've been like scripting, trying to script videos, trying to video plan and we are off to get tanked so that's the plan. Also my stress rash has gotten real bad, uh, I've had it for nearly over a year now and it sucks. So yeah. Hello, Luke and I are at home now. I have been relaxing and reading some magazines. We also got Dermaid for my neck, which already seems to have helped. So that's a good thing. And then for the rest of the afternoon, I'm gonna clean out my wardrobe and film some videos so yeah um luke brought me two magazines peppermint and in the moment again so peppermint i've read for a while and it's a, sustain it's a sustainability magazine that also talks about style and substance <laughs> i read this article about a muslim convert convert um, she wasn't she was raised a Christian and then she became a Muslim and she wears a hijab and it was super interesting to read and then this one in the moment this one is an older issue I feel like the bookstore I got them get them from are really behind in them but again just a super interesting read and I don't know I like magazines because I come across articles I wouldn't necessarily read on my own and I feel a bit inspired and right now I'm going to quickly clean out the wardrobe. I say quickly, probably won't be a quick process. Um, I probably need to go get some bin bags or something from downstairs because it's very messy. I will show you guys it in a second. So a while ago now, I brought this book called The Curated Closet by Anushka Rez. I have pre previously done her workbook which was like an ebook basically on the same concept as curating your closet and yeah so I've been slowly reading that and trying to create a more cohesive wardrobe that has kind of everything I need right now it consists of a lot of cardigans um which isn't a bad thing because I like cardigans but you know I can't just wear those but yeah, right now I kind of hate myself. That's the space I'm in. Don't like my body. So I won't be buying anything new for a while. We're also trying to save. So that's another reason. But I think right now the wardrobe is in such a state that I just want to sort things out into things I want to keep, things I don't want to keep, and kind of pile them up until I decide if I want to sell them or donate them or take them to my mum's house, which kind of just ends up being going to my mom's house but let me know if you guys are interested in anything from a wardrobe because i'm going to be doing a massive clear out very fortunately we have a walk-in closet that is also shared with our bathroom um so yes i will turn the light on so this is it these are mirror we've put our mirror away because i was saying horrible things to myself about the way I look so right now it's in the closet until it can come out when I'm being nicer to myself essentially and then this up until here is all mine and that's only a portion of my clothes this those are also my clothes the top two shelves are Luke Luke's and then you get to my pile of mess which is all mine and yep <laughs> it's kind of messy and then over here I have two drawers which are filled with tops I don't wear and also pants I don't wear so I'm probably gonna clear those out as well today too so I've made some piles this is the piled bin this is keeping this is maybe and that is going away to a new home rehoming and this is what's left to do. <laughs> okay, so now I have cleaned out the shelf and this part too. And I've tidied up the shelf so it's scarves, beanie, my swimsuits, my bras, and 
this stuff doesn't really need to change. It's just like my bags, um, some nicer shoes, and a lot of dust on the wall that probably needs to be vacuumed up. But I'm going to give you a tour of the piles. So, this pile is called, I'm going to throw you in the bin now, because you have had your time. This pile is stuff to rehome. It's grown. These are jeans slash one pair of yoga pants that I need to put away. This is a top I'm kind of too sentimental to give up yet um, and I don't have a coat hanger for it. And then this is a pile of brand new knits that I've never tried on that my mom has given me and, uh, and like four sports kind of jackets and they love in there as well. And then we come to this pile. Oh. <sighs> this pile makes me sigh a lot. This is a collection of skirts that I have that don't even fit me. So I am torn between whether to keep these or to get rid of them. Because I'm not adding anything into my wardrobe and I'm trying to lose weight, I think for now I'll just leave them in the back of my wardrobe and maybe one day I'll be able to wear them. Maybe. And then the this pile is my maybe pile. This is the nicest jacket I've ever owned. I've worn it twice because it is so tiny, but I found it on sale, so I brought it. Um, but it's just a really nice coat, and I'm too much in love with it to give it away. Then there's this coat that I found again. It was in a box that I put away, um, and I don't know whether to keep it or not. And then there's a trench coat, which I actually never wear, so I'll probably put it away. And then this dress, which I don't actually think I like. Then there is this pile of dresses, which are also sentimental things. This one I brought in England. This one I brought for a wedding, never wore because it didn't fit me. This one is the one I wore for my 21st birthday. And this is a Free People one that I brought the following year for my 22nd birthday. So they're kind of... Things I don't wear anymore, but things I'm too sentimental to keep. And now, all of this stuff is going to go back in there, and then that stuff is going to go somewhere else. <laughs> so now I'm going to tackle my drawers and throw things away. Look at this mess. No tidy. And the top pile. This is all kind of put away night. Nicely. There's some things out there. And what is this? Oh, that's the sports top. Let's go into the sports top pile, which is there. And that's done. So now I just have these. Perfect. All done. I mean, doesn't look too much different, but I did get rid of a lot of things. A vegan chili. Mm. Mm. Yummy. And here is our dinner. <gasps> Where's my car? Hey guys, I just got home. Look at this cute thing Kira left me. It's a treasure hunt! What? <laughs> But it says, don't start yet, wait on the couch. <laughs> okay. So it's a bit later. Um, I filmed a video and I hung out the washing and brought some in. Like, the deck was chaotic. Uh, it was very windy today and everything had fallen over. So was, that was a bit crazy. That's a bit of craziness for your day. I'm talking about it really excitedly. Anyway, um, Luke and the girls are out doing after school activities, so I have the house to myself for a little bit longer, and I thought I would do some journaling, because I had a bit of a down day today. I was a bit of a negative Nancy, and I was just feeling like blur. Um, so I'm gonna journal about it and really take care of myself and like the good things out, I guess. Hey, so I printed off pictures of dogs today, and I'm currently putting them around the house. Um, I don't know how I feel about like vision boards and that stuff, but so maybe I'll get the good vibes if I see the dog. So I'm just kind of dotting them around everywhere. Let me show you. Look, this is a cat. I put one on Luke's computer as well. 
and I'm gonna have a couple more. I'm gonna put them on the fridge and in the girls' room. <laughs> also, I haven't touched my embroidery in months, by the way. He's a tiny baby dog. Two more. Put one on the fridge over here. I think we'll put two there. Hurry up and get home so I can do my bloody treasure hunt. I put all the dog pictures around the house so that we can see them from time to time and we'll be like, hmm, dog, and we'll feel those dog vibes. An attractive dog to us. This is my view. Um, I've been sitting here watching YouTube on my phone and you know, that's cool. Here they are. Come look at it from my perspective. <laughs> I was just taking a nice shot of the candles and you put phone off there. <laughs> I'm going to relax, watch some YouTube, and then I will finish. I will edit my vlog. So got some candles, got Olaf. I'm gonna relax. <laughs> we just lost power in the house. Lucky I have these candles on. I can still watch my vlog. <laughs> Okay. We have lost power in our house. Oh, oh my god. Our house is actually shaking. What do you mean? We need to get the uniforms, guys. Oh, I almost fucking got a tree on myself. I'm gonna go. Facebook page. Facebook page. And he just posted this. <laughs> People are writing really funny things on this page. Caves. Good morning. The power is still out. Oh dear. I'm walking in the forest. It's slipper time. Hey guys. Um, it is later and I just want to say, I don't know if I'm going to do a Q&A today because I'm pretty tired and this video is supposed to go up today but the power cut really set me back so i think i'm just gonna end this video here and i will see you guys on saturday for a normal video and next week wednesday for a vlog so thank you guys so much for watching sending you all the good vibes and love and if you're in auckland or wherever you are i hope you're being safe in this crazy ass weather okay bye